Unisyst Econometrics has been developed to provide solutions to understand economic behavior in the long term and the short term and is based on the fundamentals that drive the economic behavior of people, of institutions and all what happens in the world. Unisyst Econometrics is based on the mathematics implicit in the, implicit in the Unisyst logic. The Unisyst logic has been developed based on the ontogenetic intelligence of nature and its application to the real world defining the concepts that underlie human actions. The concepts that underlie human actions in the field of economy are driven by the need of wealth regeneration, of the social added value of the economic processes and of the growth generation. These three fundamentals are what drive economic behavior. Understanding the fundamentals allows defining the conjunction that integrates them. These three elements, which are divided into other sub-processes, into other sub-concepts that drive human actions, work as objects and define roles. Roles are objects that are materialized through an institutional or a personal behavior. The Unicist approach developed the mathematics that allows defining the long-term possibilities and the short-term probabilities of things to occur. The Unicist economic scenarios are driven by, uh, by incentives, by technologies, by markets and by transcendence. To understand the nature of economic processes is basic to understand the econometrics, the Unicist econometrics. The Unicist econometrics is based on avoiding the dualistic approach to additional econometrics uses. Although it is complementary with the traditional econometrics because at the end things have to be managed in a dualistic way in, in terms to be operational. But, for example, when we talk about the theory of demand, where the traditional theory of demand relates price and quantity, from the Unisys standpoint this is an a prioristic fallacy because it is an ceteris paris, because the third dimension of the Unisys logic is given by the subjective value of things, which is integrated by the use value, by the reference value, and by the opportunity value. This explanation of the theory of demand changes the theory of demand in terms that there are no exceptions, there are no given goods, no other exceptions. In natural rules, there are no exceptions. In natural rules, it is necessary to find the mathematics that allows, again, the possibility of what can happen and the probability of it to happen depending on the resources that are available compared with the resources that are necessary. I invite you to enter the Unisyst econometrics and apply it both to the macro field and to the micro field of businesses. Thank you.